Hello everybody, this is Asher Dupre, and today I'm going to be talking about ciphers. Um, a cipher is a secret or disguised way of writing. A code. Um, yes, that's, based, that's the Google definition of cipher, and... Next slide. Caesar cipher. This is the first cipher I'd like to go over. It's very simple to crack. You can crack it as a human. You don't have to be a computer. Yeah, computers can crack this almost instantly. Humans can crack it in a few minutes. So not the best cipher if you want to be the most secure, but is a good cipher if you want to be simple about how you create your cipher. So basically all, it's just shifting the A, B, C, D down or forward based on what, you, what the uh, cipher key is. Your key could be a negative one, so then you'd shift it back one. It could be a positive one. This is an example of a negative one. You'd shift it backwards and then move the A forwards. So if you, if you saw what I did there, took the A, moved it over there. So now it's B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And so now basically every letter equals the letter in front of it and Z equals A. So for testing, testing, one, two, three, you could either go through this and look T, okay, U, so then write the U. Um, I want to write a E, that's an F. <clears throat> so you could do that, or you could just say with this one, since it's a negative one, all you need to do is add a letter. So T, U, E, F, S, T, T, U, I, J. <laughs> Think about that one for a second. Um, so yeah, that's simple. There's no uh, case, there's no no way of doing numbers in the Caesar cipher because you couldn't really shift numbers since there's an infinite amount of them. Yeah, it doesn't really work. But that's the basics of the Caesar cipher. Uh, craft, cr cracking the Caesar cipher is very simple. All you need to do is look for commonly used letters. Um, com the most commonly used letters according to Wikipedia are E, T, A, O, I, N. You're probably not going to need to use that many. If you, it's especially easy with a big chunk of, a big chunk of text in Caesar cipher code, but with a small text it'll work too. Uh, you can first try E with this. So you look at your, you're looking at just the U F T U G A O H part. Um, you see lots of U's, so you try that for E. You see, okay, if u equaled e, you'd have to be all the way over here. And then you'd try all that, go back through, translate the whole thing with that code. Nope, it wouldn't make testing, testing, one, two, three, so that's not it. So then you'd try t with the u's, because there's four u's, that's the most commonly used letter. And then, bingo, you'd shift it over one, and then that'd be your correct answer. So... Now, if we go to the next cipher, which is at bash, this is really simple. You just run through all the letters backwards, A equals Z, B equals Y. This is easy to crack too. It actually might even be easier to crack because if you see lots of G's and E's, or if you see lots of V's and T's, in like lots of V's and T's, which are, I'm sorry, I messed that up. I mean lots of, yeah, lots of T's, Lots of G's and lots of V's, because yeah, if it's lots of G's and lots of V's will be lots of T's and lots of E's, and that's the most commonly used letters, so easy to crack. Next code, letter number cipher. This cipher is kind of just something that yeah, you just make this one something that everybody could have probably just made up with someone's x. Okay, give me a simple cipher. It's like uh, a equals one, b equals two, b c equals three, etc. That's just a simple cipher. Sorry. So um, an example of this would be testing, testing one, two, three again, and this time uh, you add dashes in between each letter, but then spaces to separate words. So twenty is t. Um, E is five, etc. Then um, A B C is one two three. Uh, theoretically, you're supposed to put dashes in between each of those letters. 
I guess, if you were writing that. I don't even know if you're supposed to write one, two, three out, but I'm pretty sure you can, and then the person that's receiving the code can solve it from that. Another thing you can do with these ciphers is uh, do multiple. So what you could do is write out your Caesar cipher and do U-F-T-U-G-A-O-H, and then convert that to at bash so the u's would be f's and stuff so that then that would be really that would be harder to crack yeah that actually be pretty difficult to crack you'd have to know that it was in both and that'd be hard then you'd also yeah if you were going to look for this if you were going to try to look then you'd have to look for um yeah you'd have to look in the at bash for u's because that's what the E's were or in the other one. Yeah, it'd be really complex. And then you could convert that to the letter number cipher, which would really not add any security to it at all because they could convert it back to the at bash really quick. So, yeah, letter number cipher. You could do a shift on the letter number cipher, cipher and make A equals 26, Z equals 25, uh, B equals 1. You could do a negative 1 shift on that. You could do a positive 1 shift on that. Those are options too. There's many different ciphers, and I hope to discuss more of them in future episodes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.